So in this video, we're going to continue topic 5.1, which is solving by substitution. We're going to begin by solving one equation for one variable. For example, get one of the equations to be x equals or y equals. Plug this into the other equation. Um, solve for the variable. And then substitute the value you get into one of the equations and solve. This is substitution method is best used when the coefficient in front of x or y is 1. So let's try a couple of these. So the first one I'm going to do with example 2 doesn't matter if I solve for x or I solve for y. Um, but I'm going to choose to solve for x. I'm going to move y to the other side by subtracting it. So I get x equals negative y minus 1. And now I am going to substitute this. Didn't change colors. I'm going to substitute this into x in the second equation. So I'm starting with 5. I'm going to put parentheses for the x. Minus 4y equals negative 23. I am then going to substitute in the negative y minus 1. And then I'm going to distribute the 5. So I get negative 5y minus 5 minus 4y equals negative 23. We're going to combine together the negative 5 and the negative 4 to give me negative 9y equals. And I'm going to go ahead and add that 5 to the other side. So that's going to give me negative 18. And then I'm going to divide by negative 9, which means that y is equal to 2. I'm now going to take that 2 and I'm going to substitute it into this original first equation. Actually, I could substitute it in here if I wanted because it's already solved. So I know that x equals negative, I'm going to plug in the 2, minus 1, which means that x equals negative 3. And when we're doing systems of equations, you cannot leave your answer um, as x equals y equals. You have to write it as a coordinate. So you would want to write this as negative 3 for the x and 2 for the y. Let's go ahead and try example 3 as well. In example three, I notice that this second one has a coefficient of one for the x. So I'm going to move both the four and the two y to the other side. I'm going to subtract the two y and add the four. I am then going to take this and I'm going to substitute it into the first equation for the x. So I'm going to write six parentheses minus three y minus four equals zero. And I'm going to substitute in the negative two y plus four. And then I'm going to distribute the 6. So I get negative 12y plus 24 minus 3y minus 4 equals 0. I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 12 and negative 3y um, is going to be negative 15y. Positive 24 and negative 4 would be positive 20 equals 0. So I'm going to subtract the 20, and then I'm going to divide by 15, which is going to give me, when I reduce that, 4 thirds, because 5 goes into both of those, and they turn positive. Now that I have that, I'm going to substitute it back into probably this orange one right here. So we've got x equals negative 2. And then instead of the, the y, I'm going to put 4 thirds plus 4, which is going to be negative 8 thirds. I'm going to rewrite the 4 in thirds, so that's going to be 12 thirds, which means that x is also equal to 4 thirds, so your final answer would be 4 thirds, 4 thirds. 